Another feature in the color is tone. That's our second feature, which I would like to highlight to you. And tone basically indicates uh, the how light or how dark the gemstone is. Now, typically the best is to have a medium tone, which means it's not very light and it's not very dark. And again, here on the screen, you will see a couple of examples. We have the one in on the on the left hand side. This is a medium tone, and then the one on the right hand side is a dark tone. Luckily, it's not so dark. The dark tone, you can still see the color of the gem, which is red. Now, both of these gems look red, and let's say they were corundum, then both of them would qualify as ruby. But one of them is definitely more valuable than the other due to the tone. The medium tone shows more red. The darker tone, you can see there are some areas of extinction. And when we say extinction, that just means that they're so dark that we no longer are able to see the color in the gem. Now, this is very, very common to have gemstones that are a very dark tone. And again, I'm going to refer back to sapphire because I've seen so many people come to me with very nice sapphires that they've brought when they, they go you know, overseas, they're traveling, maybe they go to different countries. But the thing is, typically I see them very, very dark. And the darker your gemstone is, the less valuable it is. Yes, it is true to say um, it's better to buy a dark blue sapphire than a light blue sapphire. Again, the light blue doesn't retain as much value as the medium tone. But when dark gets so dark that you just can't see the color blue anymore, if you have to pick up a pen light and shine a pen light through that material to be able to see what color it is, then obviously that is not a good quality gemstone. So really the best is to focus on what we call medium tone, which is neither too dark nor too light. Now, is that easy to do? Well, no, not all gems are going to come out of the ground, you know, that perfect medium tone. In fact, there's lots of gems that are either too dark or too light, but that's what you need to just keep in mind when you are buying because lots of people will want to show you the very very dark ones and tell you oh there's deep deep rich color but it's going to be up to you to look for the color that's that really stands out and that you can see clearly without being modified by black or white so if we look at the slide again if i bring up a light tone in the same color so these were two red stones initially now i've added a third but the third one is now looking so please remember that tone is adding either black or white. And when we take red and we add white to it, it modifies the color to what we know as pink. Now, does pink qualify as ruby? Generally not. Typically, ruby qualifies having a medium to dark tone. So be careful. Again, people will try to show you slightly lighter gems, and then it would be better known as a pink sapphire, remember they're all in the same family, rather than a ruby 